Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and this is the 14th video of our LZH Project and today we are going to discuss Yum, uh, Yellow Dog uh, Update Manager or Yellow Dog Update Modified. Uh, basically it is used for package management and maintenance in Red Hat Linux or CentOS Linux. Uh, we can download packages, update them, update our system, and lots of stuff with YUM. So let's start. Uh, let me log in with my root. And uh, guys, just to uh, let you know that I'm use this. Uh, I'm using root because this is a demo videos. So you should always log in with the username, not with root. Uh, just for security purposes and just to make sure that your system is safe because anything you will modify in your system with a user root with will take effect immediately and it can uh, damage your system so just to, you guys need to take precaution anyway so uh, what does yum uh, do it's basically if you need to download anything let let me download something. Let's say I would like to download uh, wget. Uh, wget is another utility. Uh, so, I, so I will use yum install wget. Press enter. And uh, n you need to make sure that you guys have internet. So it's checking. And if I already have this package, it will tell me that, yeah, it, it's there, like already installed. So let me install something else. Clear the screen. Yum hyphen Y and uh, yum install HTTPD. It's an Apache server. Oh, here we go. So it's uh, showing me that what packages I'm going, I will be installing. It's 10 meg, press Y for yes, and we will be soon having Apache in our Linux server. Okay, so Apache is already installed, and you can see that showing that each Apache basically it's a web server for Linux and we will uh, go with Apache in later videos but at the moment I'm just uh, trying to explain you what yum is so basically yum is a package manager it helps to download and install things so if you would like to update your CentOS system you just type yum update press enter and it will start to look what update is required and you can see that we need 115 megabytes of uh, uh, space for our update so you can always press yes and press enter at the moment I'm pressing no let's clear clear the screen and uh, in order to erase a package we will use yum erase HTTPD. Let's say we have installed HTTPD and we need to erase this package and here it will say yeah. press enter and now it's you can see it's removed
Okay, now this package is installed and just me, uh, we'll just make sure that it's installed. Yum uh, list installed grep httpd and there it is. We already have this package. Okay, next thing I would like to uh, cover in this video is tmux. Let me clear the screen. tmux. And tmux is already there. You can always install tmux with uh, yum hyphen by tmux. Uh, what tmux is, it's basically a CLI based uh, screen splitter. So, uh, what happened basically if we have another server and we would like to SSH into it, uh, we can split our screen into two. Well, let me show you how. To split a screen into two, you press Control B and then you will press uh, double commas. So you can see that it's been split. Okay, so let's say we have some machine and let me uh, first tell what IP address we have. So in order to move within the screen, like up and down, press Control B and up arrow. And here we are. Okay, show IP ADDR, show IP address. Uh, sorry about that, IP address show. And we can see we have this 192.168.1.245. And what if I would like to connect with another machine? So control B and down. And I would like to connect with SSH uh, root at 192.168.1.250. Yes. Okay, so the good thing is like we have this LZH-Server2 and this is another machine and we can confirm it by show IP ADDR or IP ADDR show and here we can see that we have 192.168.1.250 so Tmax, Tmux is basically a CLI based uh, splitter and it's really really uh, good thing to know if you guys are working in CLI okay so basically control B and commas basically uh, they are used to split the screen horizontally what if uh, if I would like to split the screen vertically so what I would do is I will press control B shift and 7 or uh, sorry shift 5 or the person key and here it will split my uh, screen vertically uh, vertically and if I would like to uh, name the session uh, I can use control B and dollar sign or shift 4 and here I can rename my session like um, awesome session something like that and or anything what would you like to enter and to kill the current pane let's say right now I'm here you can see I'm here and to kill this session I'll uh, press control B and then X key and it will ask kill pane 2 and yes so it's gone and to kill tmux window uh, you can use control B and then uh, press and or shift 7 and kill window root yes and you can see that we are out of uh, tmux anyway let's let's go back press enter and uh, let me control B and then press uh, shift person so I'm in the vertical mode and we can do so many things in these two panes like uh, here I can just start tail slash war slash sorry about that like log 
messages, something like that, or in the other pane control B and this, I can just clear the screen, list the content, anything else. Uh, okay, what if I would like to uh, close uh, only properly, like I would like to exit from this, I'll just press Control B and D to detach. So this is uh, Tmux and I hope to see you guys in another video and this is basically our 14th video uh, which just came to end and please don't forget to subscribe and uh, hope to see you in another video. Thank you for watching.